Okay, so I'm going to be sharing with you some Catholic gift ideas for um, this upcoming Christmas. If you're like me, I'm trying to get all my shopping done in November so that I can relax during Advent. Um, definitely let me know. Are you guys all done shopping? Are you just getting started? Did you already finish? Very curious um, where you guys are at. So definitely share down below. Um, so most of these gifts are for kids. I will say that. I do have some mommy and women gifts at the end that are really cool. But um, I just over most of these are for kids. Um, I am a big believer in kind of doing Catholic gifts for kids or Christian gifts at least for Christmas and Easter. For their birthday I kind of go rogue and do whatever. But for Christmas and Easter, I really do want at least some of the gifts to be, you know, something that will help them in their faith and stuff. So a lot of these are things that either my kids use or love, and I just wanted to share them with you. Some of these, like the littler kids, can be used for baptisms as well. I get a lot of questions about baptism gifts, so really all around. Okay, so the first thing that I recommend every child to have is a nativity set. Um, this one I absolutely love. It's little people. It comes with a whole bunch of like there's a little angel and stuff too and um, wise men, shepherd. It's really sweet and cute. My son Thomas, my oldest, got it when he was one years old and loved it. Like they can chew on it and every child since has loved this little little people nativity set. And it's great because every generation, like we can use this and my grandkids will probably use this. I'm really pumped about this. So some type of like nativity set I feel like would be really really great some other little kid gifts are there's this this is called the choose rosary which is adorable it is something like if you have a teething baby that's why I like baptisms I usually recommend this when people ask um, because this is perfect for teething and it's great because there is a little thing so it won't like strangle your children or anything like that so i really like this they have all different colors um and yeah this is the one i love it i got this for bella even though i wish i had it for all my kids because bella was obsessed with this and chewed on this non-stop and it was really cute because we bring it to church and we got a lot of people who just thought, <laughs> thought it was adorable um okay so also little kids are these are the shining light dolls you've heard me talk about this all the time on here because bella is obsessed with it it's super duper cute i love it so much these are actually hard to find um there is a store that i absolutely love called stay close to christ and they actually sell both of these they sell a lot of shining light dolls and they're so cute because they're plush and bella's obsessed like i said um i do have a promo code for uh, stay close to Christ it is Catholic mom 10 and you'll get 10% off your entire order which they have a ton of really cute toys like this is like the Melissa and Doug of you know the Catholic world I feel like the shining light dolls they have little dolls they have nativity sets they they're so so sweet and cute they have saints and everything so that store also has a lot of stocking stuffers. So definitely check it out because if you're looking for cute Catholic toys, they are kind of like the store to go to. They're like an online store. They're so awesome. Okay, and then there's a couple cute little books that I have to show you guys. This one is The Virgin Mary Around the World. Super cute, shining light doll again. And it just talks about little Marian apparitions. Again, Bella's obsessed with this one. Um, this one's for a little bit older, so Zach actually likes this one. Um, and this is all on Stay Close to Christ. I'll put all the links because not everything's from Stay Close to Christ. Some I just got on Amazon. Um, this one, oh my goodness. This is more like Thomas and Jacob's age, so seven... Uh, six and seven. This is the boy who became Pope. Super cute. Oh my gosh. The illustrations are amazing. It, I will say it's a very long story, um, but it's really good. It's about Pope John Paul II and his story and kind of how his parents died when he was little. They do it in a very beautiful way though. Not where it's like overwhelming or anything like that. Um, and then this one this is like i feel like a big deal in the catholic circles this is the catechism of the sacraments and they have all the little lego guys and this is like a very 
thick book. Like you are definitely getting your money's worth. And it talks about all the different sacraments. So baptism. And it kind of does it in such a cute form. I really like it. It's kind of just like a comic book, um, Lego comic book. It's so great. And it's talking all about Catholicism. My boys love this one. So another thing that you might like is this. This is um, for church. This has saved us so much. When the kids are at church, they can kind of follow along. And there's all these different magnets. And um, you can kind of place them where you want. The priest is missing. There's quite a few pieces probably in my church bag. Um, but anyway, they open it up and they kind of can follow the mass by putting, you know, the Eucharist, where the Eucharist goes and all of that, like on the altar and stuff. So this is like the perfect thing for um, if you're going to church and your kids are very like touchy feely and you're trying to keep them quiet. This has saved me so much. So this is like Bella who's two and four and Zach who's four. They both love this thing and they the hard thing is they kind of fight over it. So we've kind of had to like teach them to share and be quiet with it. But um, but they really do enjoy this. Another great gift for all kids like little kids are these um, little DVDs. They're like 20 minutes long. They're really really perfect for um, teaching the Catholic faith. So this one's about Advent. They have about the rosary, about saints, about the Eucharist, the sacraments. But the thing is, these are awesome. My kids love them. It's very entertaining. It's teaching them the Catholic faith in a very fun way. So I will put these on when I'm making dinner or something like that when I need just a half hour because these are about a half hour long and just pop them in. And I actually get a lot out of these little DVDs. I think they're up to like like, I think they have like 16 of them now. They even have like the Stations of the Cross and um, about Chris, actually Christmas Day. And, and they just are so good. Very Catholic, very good. So you know like your kids are getting, you know, good things. But they have music and little saint stories and stuff. They're awesome. So I highly recommend this. This is their new one, The Days of Advent. So um, my kids love that. I checked it out already, already because it is brand new. And it's really, really good. So every day it just shows you a little video. It's really cute. Um, so that's kind of all the things for the little kids that I recommend. There are some chapter books um, that the kids are kind of getting into chapter books. And so they, there's a lot of really good chapter books out there that teach about the saints and they're very accurate and they're done in a novel form. Um, so this is one, St. Anthony and the Christ Child and stuff. So uh, anyway, I'll put a couple links down below and I just want to thank you so much for using the Amazon links down below. It really does help me out. I do get a small percentage from that when you do use the links and it goes 100% to my children's Catholic education. Um, so I just want to thank you. 100%. I am not getting a single penny. It's all going to their Catholic education for next year. Um, it's the same price for you, all the things that you buy. So um, it's just kind of helping me out when you use the links. And even if you don't buy these products, but you buy something else, um, say diapers or, you know, whatever it is, cleaning supplies, uh, but you shop you click on my link and go through my link, then I will get a percentage of that small percentage. But if enough people click on that and use the links, that really adds up. So thank you so much for doing that. Very helpful. Thank you. Okay, so let's get into the fun mommy things. So the first thing I want to share with you is this really adorable book. This one is all over Instagram. Actually, that's how I heard about this was through Instagram. And so I ordered it right away because I love interior decorating. I love making my home a home and, you know, making it pleasing for my family. Um, and this book is so sweet. I love this book. Um, it's called Theology of Home, Finding the Eternal in Every Day. And it is just a really sweet book. So there's obviously a lot of pictures in there and I love that because I love interior decorating. I love that it's Catholic. There's a lot of like saint quotes and stories and stuff like that in here. So it is really a neat, unique book. It's Catholic and I love it. Even the cover is like so cute and just homey. I love that. So I love this. This is like one of those books that if I didn't buy it myself, I would have asked for it for Christmas. So there's 
this one. Okay, so this is kind of fun. I know like it's kind of the thing to have like adults in the coloring books. And I thought this was so cool. This one is the verses for Catholic women. And so it's just kind of a devotional. So you read right here. And then as you're thinking about that, you just like color in. So if your kids are coloring and they want you to sit with them, like how cool is this? You could just like sit with them and color and just, you know, think about the words of God. So I thought this was so cute and so cool. So, um, so there's this little fun thing. Okay. So the next thing that I would say are Catholic mommy planners. They're kind of all the rage right now. Um, so there's this one, there's blessed is she actually my friend Lauren has one that is so cute and it, you can download it or she sends it to you. Um, I don't have the actual copy right here, but I'll, I'll put a couple different links of just like different Catholic mommy planners because these things are awesome. They usually tell you like what verses of the day for, you know, math schedules or if it's a holy day of obligation or you know it's just very catholic things which i personally love so definitely i would say a catholic planner for any woman um, would be awesome i love this book i've talked about this book before but it's small steps for catholic moms and the reason i like this one is i needed something very short and quick and like something that i could gnaw on all day and this is perfect because it's you know 365 days of the year and it gives you something for every day of the year and daniel bean is one of the people and i absolutely love her she's such an awesome writer i love it because it's not overwhelming it's just like a page and it gives you the first part is it gives you like a saint quote and the second part is a prayer and then the third part is like something you could actually do to like better your day to get closer to god it's really sweet i love this this book so much so that is something i would get for any mom with little kids like who feels overwhelmed that's the book i would get them so anyway so those are my gifts definitely put down below like what are some other catholic gifts that you really like i actually have so their stay close to christ has their whole store and it's super cute you will definitely have to check it out they have catholic games they have catholic toys they have jewelry they they're awesome and use the promo code catholic mom 10 to get 10 percent off your entire order a um, lot of stocking stuffers and stuff like that but also on amazon i have a whole store on amazon that um i'll link that down below but you can click on it there's a ton of catholic gifts and ideas if you're just looking for ideas um definitely check out that store um there's tons of books like if you're a new catholic if you're not a new catholic but you love books if you want children books there's tons of children books in there um, definitely check it out and um, like I said thank you for using the links and helping support this ministry through that I don't have a patreon page or anything like that I have no other way of like asking for money except for you know if you do shop on Amazon if you just click through one of my links and then keep shopping like that really helps me so um, so instead of like asking for money Money, like in you know patreon where you just straight up you know give me money this is just another way that you could help support me and my family in our catholic education for our kids so anyway thank you so much and i will see you guys next time god bless bye